Lilius, who can tell if your heart missed a beat as all the flickering stars pulsed in your night like so many candles burning behind a dark blue veil and one star seemed to spin and then it fell its dying light tearing that veil in two Lilius, when did you seek and find those patterns and these paths in the tear-stained afterglow? And when did these designs, unrolling like a carpet at your feet, begin their work inside you? When did you learn love is not blind? When did this distant melody, now stronger than a rope, first draw you on, down broken streets, then over land and sea? If called to flight by all that's true and dear, shouldn't the soul arise and find its wings? Pause at this door, would you stoop on this threshold and enter in these worlds embracing deeper shadowed worlds to see the starlight caught and faintly tracing the gathered faces turning looking up did your heart burst become a broken cup or a careless opened purse the spilled coins dancing, spinning in the dust, like those lost in trance. What did you hear? Come, my beloved, find the way of entering my work. You are my garden, my rose garden. Be the daughter of my lips, and say that in their darkest night there are a hundred streams of living water pulsing from my breast. Each one is laced with caravans of stars, uncounted stars, but also tell them this. Among the beggars with torn hearts and tongues, a true king sits unseen and quietly weeps. His blood-stained tears could wash their open wounds. He hears their sighs and waits for them to sleep. So, Lilius, let them sleep, and in my hand you are my brush. I will find and blend new colors, and I will kiss their eyes, so they might come to understand and know that I at least do see them, call them home. And Lilius, as you rest, reflect on all the moments you have dreamed your own long voyage across this swelling sea of torn petals, bruised reeds, and broken stems. Pick up a pen and then outline the theme, your own deep shadows serving as the ink. Will you describe how a single leaf might have to die to truly come to life? Or tell of a precious stone, the way it glows, the sunlight harvested and stored by all the broken surfaces inside? When did you first observe and then record the way the flower buds release the flower into all of its unfolding purposes. When was the hour that you first believed that hundreds talk and maybe thousands think but seeing and the one who sees is at the heart of everything? Jewels scattered Seed the glowing edge of dawn, flowering in deep shade towards the sun, proceeding as if by music drawn. 
The stars that shone like tears are now arrayed. A bridal party with ornaments displayed. Movement begins and spinning patterns form. A dancing flame, she bends, she whirls about, one hand to heaven as her companions shout her story and her name. Although I doubt it's often heard, except perhaps among daughters of Ibrahim, where she is rightly sung as the one who loves me, who will not turn me out.